Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about the By Terry up to 50% off sale. So I recently bought some stuff from the sale because I don't know, I don't own anything from this brand surprisingly enough. It's been a long time coming. Um, so I picked up a few things. I'm not going to try them all on today, but I just want to show you sort of the packaging and some of the great deals that are offered on the By Terry website right now. I don't know how long the sale is supposed to last for. The website doesn't give you a whole lot of details on that kind of information, which would be really helpful. Um, but it looks like it says that new lines have been added to the sale, so they've kind of expanded things. And I know that um, some of the stuff has already sold out. I think their um, eyeshadow palette that was in the daytime shades that was sold out. The nighttime one is still available. So I'm going to be showing you what I bought and what came in the mail today. And then I want to show you what is still available online and kind of what things I am drawn to and what I would consider purchasing beyond what I already bought. So I kind of want to give you recommendations even though I haven't really tried anything yet. But just from a new buyer, kind of knowing some of the more popular stuff, what might be a good idea to try out during this really good sale. A lot of these products are at least 30% off. Um, so and a lot of them are 50% off so this is like a super good deal um, I think a lot of this stuff uh, sort of limited edition sort of products or just limited packaging or limited edition colors um, so or limited edition sets so I kind of been taking advantage of that um, especially because I like the colors that they have been offering limited edition. So I want to show you first what samples I got, which I think are pretty good. Um, and I believe this, they have a sale on this lip product. This is the new liquid lipsticks, matte and shine. And I got a sample of these colors. Looks like my red vintage nude. And one part is the shine and one part is the matte. Okay, so it's like a two-sided sort of lip product. Interesting. I have never, again, never tried anything from by Terry. So I'm just going to swatch this. So we're going to do the matte first. So we're going to do vintage nude. Um, red lipstick isn't really my thing. Look at this sample. Not very generous. <laughs> Yikes. Um... <laughs> So this is the matte, it looks pretty enough, kind of a, a rosy, warm brick sort of shade, right? Um, it feels pretty dry, that could be just because of the sample. We're going to put the shine on top of it. Not a lot of product, but this look at least looks a little bit better. This actually um, feels nice. Feels a little bit grippy. That looks like a nice combo. A nice nude lip. Um, maybe you'll want to pick it up. I'll go ahead and swatch my red just because it's part of the sale. So you guys can see what it looks like. Ooh, this almost looks fuchsia. Sorry, there's not a lot of products in this sample, which is weird. I can barely swatch. I have to say I don't like the matte formula. It seems pretty dry, but it's pretty typical of a liquid lipstick. That actually looks pink. We're going to try the shiny side. Maybe that will save it. Way more product on this part. It's kind of weird, huh? Here we go. There's the red. Oh, I did that backwards. 
they switched up the order. So this is the matte part. They barely included any of the shine. And it was super dry. That is so weird. Okay, I think this is not a good sample. I think the shiny part was really dried out and hardly had anything on it. But that's the red. Um, it looks cool tone to me because you can see a lot of that pink. So a cool toned red. If you like red, you might like this. It just feels a little bit dry. But I say the gloss on this one felt nice. So it's probably fine. Anyways, it's 50% off. Um, the Love Edition. You get two... I think you get them... It comes in two parts. There's the matte and then the shine. So it's two separate products. Um, very interesting. Well, I'm glad I swatched that for you so you guys know the shades. <laughs> Ooh, surprises in every corner. Um, I'm going to be doing a separate video just so you guys know um, on applying this stuff. Um, I, I wanted to just talk about the sale because I don't and give you sort of my thoughts and recommendations. This is going to stain um, before the sale ends because I don't know when that is. So I just want to let you guys, I wanted you guys to be aware of the sales that are going on right now. So, let's move on. Um, I received another sample. This is the Brightening CC Serum, and I believe the CC Serum is one of their star well-known products. And But this one is in Rose Elixir. And I bought a CC Serum, but I got it in a different shade. So it's nice that they gave the rose pinky shade which I think is really pretty. Um, I also received this kind of a deluxe sample of my order I think because I spent enough money. This is their new pressed hyaluronic hydra powder and this is a mini version, mini to go. So this is kind of cool. Very cute packaging there, adorable kind of a chrome back and this is the colorless powder stamped with by Terry and then in the lid it comes with a little mini kind of I don't know velvet applicator super cute I love how tiny this is I don't want to mess this up. This is so adorable. And it comes with a real mirror. Like, what an awesome sample. Love that. So if you order, you can choose your samples. And I recommend picking this one. Ooh. That feels super smooth. It doesn't smell, which is good. Wow. Definitely feels really silky on my wrist when I'm kind of moving it around. I don't want to use too much of this because I'm not doing a full face, but just want to kind of give you my first impressions. This, I mean, this is so cute. Oh, adorable. Um, I also picked, so let's get into what I actually bought. I bought two Ombre Black Star sort of cream eyeshadows. I don't love cream eyeshadows, but I heard so many good things about Ombre Black Star. Um, so I got sort of the limited edition shades and these are 50% off. And so I got a great deal on them. Otherwise, so these guys are still on sale. I got Immaculate Light and Rose Elixir. And these are kind of the limited edition shades. I believe these, yeah, these are not part of the regular line. These are normally, I got them 30% off. So normally 32, and I got them for 22. So pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you. We have Rose Elixir, which is a pretty rose shade, it looks like. Love this packaging, very luxe feeling. 
And these are going to be similar to the Laura Mercier caviar sticks, Bobbi Brown sticks. Ooh, this shade. I love this shade. So glad I picked this up. Just a beautiful shimmery pink. You can pop this on the inner corner. Just do a quick little shimmer eye. You know, I've, I've learned the convenience of a stick, especially on the go. You can put it in your purse. It's way easier to carry these around than an eyeshadow. Um, and they're a lot more sleek. Oh, that is so pretty. So I recommend picking this up if you go on the website, it's still in sock. This is Rose Elixir. Oh my gosh. The formula is super smooth and you can see me blend it out. So it's movable, but it looks like it's going to stay in place for a long time. It's not going to crease on you just because it it seems to dry down pretty quickly. So glad I got that shade. Love the packaging on this. Super luxe. I also picked up Immaculate Light. And I have darker tones in this, but I really like the light shades. They really appeal to me. So this is more of a nude sort of color. Light brown, if you will. Oh, this glides so easily. Just shh, done. That is more of a gold shade, right? Blends out really nicely. You can see that there. And then beyond that, it, like I can't blend anymore, and I don't. This is like going nowhere. Very sturdy eyeshadow. Again, another inner corner shade, except it's it's a little gold for me. Um, what I am noticing on this one, it's going down fairly quickly. Maybe I'm probably moving a little too fast with it, but it it's kind of crumbling down on me. But, um, yeah, I could see going through these too quickly, but it's probably just because I'm swatching a lot on my hand. But those are the two shades I picked up. These are, I believe, not a, going, going to be a part of their regular collection. That's why these are on sale. Otherwise, the other shades are not on sale, unfortunately, which I would have liked to get. Oh, well. But these are really soft and smooth. I'm looking forward to trying this out in a look. Very pretty packaging. This is definitely going to stand out in my drawer. And you get these pretty boxes they come in. Super cool. Alright, so I got sort of two limited edition gift sets. And I don't think one of these was supposed to be on sale because I bought it last week on sale, half off, and now this week um, the color got sold out, but the other color is not half off anymore. So I don't know if it was a mistake. Who knows? I got it on sale. I don't care. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, I don't think this is a part of the sale anymore. Um, but this is the Brightening Serum, Celly Rose um, Radiance Elixir. And this is in the shade Immaculate Light. So this is the really light one. They have a darker one in the set. Um, so this is normally like $90, $85 or something like that. And I got it for half the price, which was awesome because just one of these Immaculate Light things whatever like luminizer type of thing it's like 85 bucks let's see 91 dollars for one of these that's crazy that's why i've never used it because it's just like 91 dollars for like a glowy thing crazy so this kit if you get one of these 91 dollars so it says 50 percent off when you before you click on the details, but when you click on number four, which is the darker color, it's not on sale. And then when you click on the color I got, it says out of stock. So something's glitchy with their website for sure. 
So let's go ahead and try this one out. Do a little swatch. I like this box. It's super cute, pretty, shiny. It goes with the whole kind of rose glow theme. One ounce for $91. It's nuts. Um, so I th this is like... I mean, you get a free travel size. Okay, it feels nice, very liquidy. You're probably not going to see the sheen on my skin. It definitely smells very strongly of real roses. It's nice, but holy crap, it definitely smells like a real rose. Maybe that's why it's $91. That scent is definitely there. So I think you can kind of see the shimmer if I was in the daylight you could probably see it better but there's a little bit of glow it's very <laughs> sheer um, let me I'll come back I'm gonna wash the back of my hands and show you on the back of my hand so I just went to wash off the ombre black stars on the back of my hand and holy crap I had to bust out my oil cleanser and my microfiber cloth to remove everything these are like super waterproof, um, super sturdy eyeshadows, so those are not going anywhere. Um, super surprising, didn't expect that, but that's kind of cool. Um, I will say like the, the gold one, the Immaculate Light, I really built it up, I went over and over. And it looked like it created some texture on my skin, so I think I'm going to have to just do a really light layer on my lids when I do end up using them so I don't get that sort of heavy um, shimmery texture that can happen to me with sticks like that. So let's get back to our Brightening CC Serum. I, I read a little bit more about this and you can apply it a variety of ways. You can apply it as a primer everywhere or just in certain areas, especially the light color that I got. like. Her pale skin is supposed to be like kind of like a highlighter or it can be used that way instead of sort of putting it all over so there now you can see sort of that highlighty sheen now um, so this color is supposed to reduce redness blotchiness if you need a lift highlights high points of the complexion the rose elixir illuminates washed out ashy looking skin with healthy pink undertones a perfect highlighter for darker complexions. The apricot glow revives dull complexions. Sunny flash is ideal for darker skin tones and creates a beautiful bronzed finish. So it's enriched with radiance rose stem swells. That's what I'm smelling. It's super rose like, like, like a real rose. It actually smells like a real rose. Um, it's supposed to create a flawless base with no coverage, optical glow technology, blurs and perfections, evens out skin tone, neutralizes redness. Um, deeply hydrated skin looks visibly brighter and positively glowing. Applies on effortlessly. This definitely feels hydrating, um, but it does sort of dry down. Um, I can't get over the smell. It's really strong. Um, I may have to, instead of like applying it everywhere, just kind of do a little bit of highlighting layering. So this would be the first sort of liquid layer. And it sounds like it probably would be like an alternative to my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. But this is a kind of a warm, warm sort of skin tony color, but it's kind of the same idea. But I'm glad I got like a real pale tone because that's truly my highlight shade is a really light, silvery kind of a shade. But um, the Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit more warm. But this is a super pretty product. Um, I wish it wasn't quite as strong. But you can see the pretty sort of natural sheen. It's not like glittery, overly glowy. It's really nicely formulated. So I'm gonna try the rose elixir color on my other hand. It's very liquidy and thin, which I'm kind of surprised by. I don't know why. 
but you can see that's more of a, a pinker shift to it. I think I can get away with this color as well. It's pre pretty nice. I like this one too. Again, smells like roses. Have you guys, you know, of, of any of you that own this product, what colors do you have? Which colors do you like the best? And let me know what your skin tone is. Like, do you recommend pink for me or do you think I bought the right one? Sorry, I have a bruise here. Um, I like both. I can literally wear both. So, super happy about that purchase. A little nervous, especially because of the price. I mean, even though I got half off, this, it's, a, it's a lot of money, you know. But I'm glad at least I got two of travel size. Alright, the next limited edition set I got is Starlet Rose Best Of set. Super excited about this just because it's kind of an introduction to a lot of products that I've never tried before. It includes the Hyaluronic Hydro Powder, the Ombre Black Star in Bronze Mood, so this is a different color, the Lash Expert Twist Brush in Master Black. This is the mascara. And then the Balm de Rose Lip Care. I think this is like the popular like lip balm, but it's in tube form. Or, I don't know, lip gloss kind of applicator. And pretty packaging. Love that they do sets like this. I wish more brands did little mini sets. Kind of what Sephora does. They kind of be able to try the loose version of this and the compact version, the press version, so I can like kind of compare for you guys what I prefer. This is like a little tiny one, which is super cute. This one is in the gold packaging, kind of lip balm and stick form. Lash Expert Mascara. These are all bestsellers. Let's go ahead and do the Ombre Black Star in Bronze Moon. So this one's, like I said, this is one of the deeper shades. It's part of their regular collection. Oh, so smooth. So that is the color right there. And it looks like, you know, in, in the shadow it's a little deep, but when you get in the light, it's a bit lighter and shimmery super pretty oh yeah when you blend it out it's like a nice kind of taupe shade it's definitely not as sparkly as the other ones that I have so I think if you paired bronze moon with these other shades it'd be a good like duo I'm glad I got a sample of this I think this is gonna be another really like travel friendly eye products move on to the mascara I want to read about this cuz I'm little confused about the twisting part. Looks like it only comes in one shade. It's a dual action mascara, extra length, extra volume, innovative twistable brush. To create length, wiggle the brush in position one through the lashes. For added volume, twist the brush to position two and zigzag the lashes. So at the top, they have one and then two. So, I don't know how you tell which position you're in. Guess I'm gonna open this up. Okay. I'm super confused by this. It definitely looks like the zigzag position. Oh, okay. It just straightens out. That makes sense. Position one is a straight brush. And you're supposed to use this in this position one for length. And then position two, you twist and it curves it. I don't know if you guys can even tell, but the brush kind of twists. And you use, 
position two to add volume and zigzag through the lashes. Interesting. I have never seen a product do that before. That's pretty cool. Maybe you can sort of see it moving there. Um, I don't know, maybe it's a gimmick, but it seems like it's a bestseller. Um, it's kind of an expensive mascara. $30, actually. That's pretty on par with luxury. But that is the mascara there. I'm not going to try it out right now. As I said, I'm going to be doing a full look with all this stuff. Let's try the Hydra Powder. Love this tiny little sample size. Has 1.5 grams in here. And this is just the white powder. Oh my gosh, look how adorable this is. Again, amazing little mirror, a little poof. I mean, this is tiny and ridiculous. Like, are you serious? <laughs> I love it. And it, it's totally separate from the powder. And then, it, yeah, you twist this off and then you just get the powder at the bottom. Genius little tiny packaging. I mean, I'm super impressed with their tiny sizes. Like, that's so good. Holy crap. Um, so I'm gonna peel off this little safety seal and then we're gonna get into the powder. I just wanna see how it feels mostly. I want to see how hydrating it feels. So I think people are really attraction, attracted to the word hydro powder because when you think of powder you think it's really drying. I definitely have noticed that. Um, so I'm just going to dump a little bit out onto my hand. I don't really smell anything which is good. First, I want to kind of smooth it out with my finger. Ooh, it feels very smooth. You can see it's pretty white there. I wonder if people get a lot of flashback with this powder. I wouldn't say it's transparent. I'm getting very white on my hand, but I had quite a little bit of powder in one spot. It feels very smooth. I don't know that this feels hydrating. It feels very smooth on my fingers more than other powders I've tried. I don't know that it feels necessarily hydrating on the skin. I think it's super smoothing on the skin. That's, that's my kind of first impressions of it. It's nice. It's really nice. It seems very um, finely milled. I want to compare again to the pressed. I get a better sense of the pressed in the pan than the powder. It's a little harder to feel. They both feel really smooth. I think to go, I'm going to be attracted to this for travel. They're both just equally very smoothing. I can't really tell a difference, except I'd probably be more likely to over apply with this one than this one. I feel like I have more control, but I think you get the same pretty much effect. Um, all right. Well, the last product I have to show you is this Balm de Rose and I don't know that there's a color for it, but it seems like a a care product and not a color product. Yeah, it looks very clear. Has a this kind of an applicator. I can't smell. I think that rose CC serum is really overpowering. It tastes like rose though. very flowery lip stuff. It feels really nice. This has got to be the Balm de Rose liquid lip balm. It's got to be. 
It just doesn't say that at the bottom. Oh yeah, Balm de Rose. This is definitely it. Liquid Lip Balm. Okay, yeah, this is the product. So I, I would be interested in getting the regular balm, but it's a crazy amount of money and it's not on sale. But I'm glad I get to try the liquid version. It feels really nice. I can just taste roses. I can smell it. But it feels really nourishing. Like, not like any other balm I've tried. I, you know, I'll have to keep you guys updated next time I use this. Next time I do a Bye Terry video, um, how long it lasts. But I like this formula. Instantly nourishing rose blend formula. It protects all your round, natural, glossy finish, fuller, plumper lips. My lips don't plump, so. Not worried about that. Um, repairs condition of dry, chapped lips, non-sticky, creamy texture. Yeah, it's not sticky. Formulated with rose blossom essential wax. Okay, shea butter, vitamin E, ceramides, hyaluronic acid, microspheres. I'd say it's the bad part is that it's too much rose smell and scent and taste. So if you have sort of sensitivities or allergies, this is going to be a no-no. You can use alone or apply under lip products. You can let them sit overnight. You can use the scrub with it. Apply to nails and cuticles. Okay, you put this on your nails. Uh, this is a very expensive product. So the regular balm is 56 This is $53 for 77 milliliters. And I got... Point... 8 ounces, 0 8 ounces, 23 grams. I don't know what that translates to in milliliters. That's all I know. It's a pretty small size, I imagine. Alright, that's it for me um, as far as what I bought. I do want to kind of go through the website a little bit with you and talk to you about the sale. This is the sale. You can see up to 50% off. New lines added. Selected lines only. It doesn't have information about the dates or anything like that. But um, this is kind of what you first see when you click on sale at the top. Um, this version of the palette for days sold out. They have some skincare, some makeup in here. I considered getting this, but then I realized like I never use these kind of products, but this is 30% off. Tea to tan face and body. It looks pretty nice. Um, rose oil. This would be good. I'm glad I didn't get more rose stuff because it's really overpowering. This was what I got. It's half off. It was originally 60 I got it for 30 which I think is a steal. Especially when the full size mascara is $30. So I essentially got mascara and everything else for free. And then um, I got these two products here. Um, Sunny Flash was the other option. There's all kinds of Balm de Rose clip products skin products. This was the the sample that I tried um, and so this is the duo that's on sale. I also have like four shades here. They have a bunch of the sticks on sale and a bunch of looks like blushes. I'm not really sure. Some sort of complexion powders. They also have, looks like concealers, some brushes, some eyeliners, mascaras. Um, I think if I was to get anything else, it would be in that tea to tan body um, sort of glow product. I just don't know enough about By Terry to like 
be interested in a lot of these other products. Like I'm sure these, like I've heard about this. I would like one without color, but I would, for on sale, I would probably get like this one, Rosie Babe. Um, but I mean, that's a lot of money for a lip balm. And then they have a bunch of lip products. Yeah, I think it's funny that the CC Serum kind of went on sale then off sale. So that's it so for the, the sale, um, things I'm sure are slowly declining in stock. Um, you can also sort of see what the newest stuff is if you wanted to buy additional things. And you, the sale stuff's kind of mixed in with like what are best sellers. Um, I actually didn't see this on the page but it looks like it's on sale. An apricot light. Um, this little mascara looked like it was on sale, but it's out of stock. And the this version of it was in stock at one point. So I know I'm kind of late to like giving you recommendations. So I'm sorry about that, but I just kind of I don't know. I think I saw it in like an Instagram ad. That this stuff was on sale or something. Or somebody told me about it. I can't remember. Um, so when I ordered this, it took a little while. It did come from the UK. I got it through DHL. Uh, so just be aware of that. Looks like they are giving away a beauty essential set if you spend enough money. It looked like it kind of was added to my bag automatically, I think. Um... They have little sets, which is nice. Quite a few of them. Yeah, I would get this for sure. Um, I'm curious about this foundation. Yeah, I'm surprised. See, it says 50% off, but when you go to click on it, it's not really. But this looked pretty. I would consider getting this, but it's out of stock. Um, so yeah, you can see like a lot of their like, ooh, that looks pretty. Their limited edition stuff is on sale. Oh, there's another version, the travel size. $19. Beauty Cracker. Are all of these on sale? I am so surprised. This looks like a good deal. This is normally 60 so expensive. $116 for their foundation? Like why? What is in there? Let's see if all these shades are on sale. Because maybe I should have picked up one of these. See this isn't on the sale page. Isn't that weird? I think I probably would have picked up this one, or the rosy one, or apricot. No, this one. Fair. Oh, this one's not, this one's not on sale, the color that I want. So I guess it's certain ones. It's not fair. Rosy light. The probably is too pink. Apricot light. Looks like the rest of these are not on sale, which sucks. Okay, well, that probably wouldn't have been something I would have bought. The site's a little glitchy. I would search through the complete website to see what's on sale, because not everything was on the sale page. Just so you guys know, at least not from what I could see, yeah. Alright guys, if you guys are excited about By Terry, check out the sale. You probably already know about it, but if you didn't know about it like I did, hopefully what I tried on camera sort of intrigued your interest. Um, I I just want to like look at these again. The I think I'm most imp I'm impressed by most of what I've tried actually. 
Um, these hydro powders are really nice. This is really pretty, and I like both shades. I tried the Rose Elixir and the Immaculate Light. I really like the Ombre Black Stars. Um, I don't typically like these kind of makeup products, but they went on really smooth and were really pretty. I have to try the mascara for you. I think it is a unique kind of component that the, the brush kind of moves. That's pretty cool. And then this, I mean, it's super rosy. I don't like that it tastes like rose. Um, but it is nourishing feeling, so I like that. Alright guys, that's kind of it for me. And my thoughts on the By Terry sale. Please let me know what you're picking up. Please comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.